Good evening guys. It's five o'clock and it's been a pretty busy day. Um, as you can see, I'm at my sister's house now and since I didn't really record throughout the day, I thought for today's vlog I would just kind of recap the past 24 hours because a lot has happened in the last 24 hours. Like nothing bad, but it's been kind of a crazy 24 hours. So before I even um, like talk about today, I want to talk about last night because you guys saw that I, um, I was gonna go, to, or I said, like, I was gonna go take a walk after I uploaded the vlog, and I just didn't think anything of it, like, it's a walk, it's normal, but last night's walk was anything but normal, so, um, for last night, first of all, I took, like, I don't know, I, I went to the lake, and then I took, like, five steps in the way of my normal walking route, and came about one foot or not even one step from stepping on this so I'm gonna insert a picture here so yeah I um I was changing my music on my phone and I wasn't even thinking anything about it because I was just you know I'd walk that route all the time and there's snakes but they're not right there and uh <clears throat> The snake didn't even run away from me either, which was kind of weird. I thought it was like dying or something, but when I came back around, the snake was gone. So I don't know what happened to it, but I literally looked down and if I had taken like two more steps, I would have stepped right on top of that snake, which would have been really bad. I think, I don't think they're venomous. I think they're the Eastern Black Racer, um, which are non-venomous, but I still don't want to be bit by a snake. So yeah, I, uh, I'm really, really glad that I looked down when I did. I nearly had a heart attack. I like snakes, don't get me wrong, I love snakes. But not when they're under my feet like that, because I wasn't paying attention. I was, I think I was texting and I was just changing my music and then I looked up and then I was like, oh wow, I'm really glad I looked up when I did. Like one, if I looked up one split second later, right on top of that snake. So that happened first, which woke me up. I had like my adrenaline going after that. And then I went all the way around the lake and when I came to almost coming back around to make the full loop, I saw this. Oh my goodness. I'm dying of cuteness. It's okay, Mama. There's gotta be at least like 15 of them, right? Maybe more than that, maybe 20 of them. Oh my goodness. Oh, and they're not as cute in the video as they are here. Don't attack me, Mama, please. Oh my goodness. Obviously a lot cuter than the snake. I saw them from the far end on the other side. I was like, oh my goodness. So I went like really fast to get it back around. Guys, there was 23 of them. I took a still picture and I, I counted them. There was 23 ducklings. I don't even know if it's possible for a duck to have that many ducklings in one go, or if they were like a mix of them, but there was 23 ducklings and they were so cute. I stood there for about 10 minutes just because they're adorable. They look like they just hatched. And um, yeah, they were adorable. And then the mom duck was kind of like giving me the side eye. So I backed up a little bit and then she was like ruffling her feathers and started coming towards me. And I was like, oh, okay, I'm gonna leave now. I don't want to be attacked by a duck. I almost got bit by a snake. So, um, so there was like 23 little ducklings. So that was really cute. So that was last night. Um, it was quite the eventful walk, actually. It was it was pretty nice. Uh, maybe not the snake part, but the ducklings were adorable, and I've never seen so many ducklings in one spot. So, um, so that was last night, and then late, late last night, so about 5 a.m., we we were originally under a tornado watch till midnight, and then they extended it to 7 a.m. And then about 5 a.m. last night, I woke up and there was horrendous storm no tornadoes thankfully but the lightning was like flashing over and over and it woke me up and I fell back asleep after about 15 minutes I actually woke up and the dog was by my bed uh Yachty my brother's dog obviously he somehow got in there he's not supposed to be in there because the cat stuff is in there but I woke up at, during the storm I was like oh Yachty's on the floor so <laughs> I went and put him back in the living room and then fell back asleep after about 15 minutes I'm really really glad we didn't have any tornadoes it did knock out our Wi-Fi, but it was back by this morning, and um, yeah, it was it was pretty crazy with the storms though. And it it was supposed to get cooler today, but it ended up getting high, like into the high seventies, so it wasn't really that cooler. I'm gonna wear a jacket now because it's always freezing in the nursery. But um, 
yeah, so that was, it was pretty, it was a pretty eventful night after I did the vlog. Like the, the whole of the vlog was like nothing. And then all of that happened, right? I mean, I don't normally vlog at 5 a.m., but all of that happened um, last night, which was pretty insane. And then flipping back over to this morning, I overslept my alarm because of that. I was supposed to get up at nine. I got up at like 9.30. My lung just started hurting, I think, because I'm twisting my body here. Um, and... So I got up at 9.30 and kind of ran, like, ran around like a chicken with its head cut off this morning because my sister was picking me up at 12. So I had to get up and I had to pack everything. I had to do laundry because I didn't do it last night. I had to um, do my treatments, take Trikafta, take Panda out, you know, pack Panda stuff, get his food, and get all this done within a span of like two hours. And so, and my treatments take 30 minutes by themselves. So I was kind of like running around with a chicken with its head cut off this morning, but I got everything done. I was done by 11.30. She was a little late. She had to be up until about 12.30 actually, but um, it was a pretty hectic morning. And then we drove here. Um, Panda was, it was an interesting car right here because my sister came so Mason was in the back seat as well, the baby. And so I was in between Panda and the baby in the middle seat of the back seat, just like smushed because Panda kept trying to lay on top of me. So I still have Panda hair all over my pants. <laughs> Um, but we got here and then about 20 minutes later we left to go to the um, mall that's over here, the outdoor mall, because I needed a couple things. My sister wanted a couple things. And it was just really fun to get out. You know, post-COVID, I don't go out very much, but there's certain places I will and um, I felt pretty comfortable there. So I'm going to show you guys the two things that I got and then, um, yeah, we're going to go out to the store later tonight, the Target, when it's like after the Super Bowl because you know, the Super Bowl today and there's like a lot of traffic. So we're gonna go after that to make sure we don't run into a bunch of people. But um, later tonight we're gonna get some baby food because we're gonna do the baby food challenge, me and my sister. I don't know if I'll film it or not, but um, yeah, that should be fun. But I'm gonna show you guys the two things that I got today, um, two things that I needed. So I actually got three things today. This was pretty essential too. I tried it for the first time. I've never had this before. It's the, what is it now? Almond milk honey flat white. Usually I get the um, white chocolate mocha, but I was like, I want something different. So I tried this. It's pretty good. It's interesting, but it's pretty good. But that's not what we went to the mall for. <laughs> we just passed that on the way out. She's like, I want to get Starbucks. I was like, okay, I'll, I won't object to I will never say no to coffee, especially iced coffee. So it's like, that's fine with me. But um, two things that I, one thing I went there for, and one thing. Um, I ended up getting at the same store because it was there and it was cheap because everything was 50% off. So, <laughs> um, I got a new purse because I've needed a new purse and I'm very picky with my purses, but this one is awesome. Uh, my other purse I have, I've had since I think 2016 or 2017 and, um, it's literally falling apart. Like Pepper scratched the shoulder strap. So it's ripped. There's like a wire sticking out of one end of it that I kept scratching myself on. The inside of it is like tearing. Like it's just, it's on its last legs. I needed a new purse. And so today I finally got one and I'm very, very picky with my purses. I like it to have an extra pocket inside because that's where I keep my medicines. And I need a lot of room because I like, I have medical stuff in there. I carry a thermometer, pearl oximeter, um, EpiPen, enzymes, you know, all those things for CF and then the normal stuff like wallet and masks and you know just regular purse stuff so i liked it to have a lot of room and i think this one's a little bit bigger than my other one which is nice because that one's kind of like like really poofed out because of stuff in there and i also always wanted to have an over the shoulder strap because i don't like carrying my purse like this i always like to carry it over my shoulder so got a new purse and i really like this pattern and it's soft and it's pretty and um i'm very very happy to finally have a new one because that one's been annoying me like I love the pattern on it I love the way it looks it's like a I don't know how to describe it like a western kind of theme um actually I'll just I'll just grab it actually um so this is my old one it's like western I guess and it's like leather ish but it's just it's dying and so I'm glad to have a new one <laughs> And then while we were there, because everything was 50% off, I was like, do they have backpacks here? And they do, because I need a new backpack. The backpack I'm using is a hand-me-down from my brother that I was using in Cedarville. Um, so 2016, 2017, and that he had it before then. So it's also dying. It has one working zipper left. You know, it's like, okay, it works. I can keep it for now, you know, until I find something that's reasonably priced because it works. But 
it's also dying. So I got a new backpack today um, as well. And I really love like the purple floral pattern on it. And I think, I think this is a little bit smaller than my current backpack, but as long as it fits my computer and stuff and this camera, you know, that's all I really care about. And I like that it has the little pockets on the side because when I'm flying, I put like airplane tickets in there and stuff. So I don't know if you saw the price tag, but it was not $129. It was way off. <laughs> um, but I think this is, this is listed as 129. I think I got it for like 44. So you can't beat that. Um, so I also got a new backpack. Which I, I like the purple because it makes me think of CF and then the flowers on it, you know, it's just really pretty. So got a new purse, got a new backpack, got a new type of coffee <laughs> and uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, so that's pretty much been the past 24 hours. It's just been pretty busy. Today went by super fast. It's already five o'clock. So I'm going to upload this um, now and then later we're going to go either to Walmart or Target and get um, couple of snacks and get some baby food to try so um and then tomorrow obviously I start my babysitting for this week he turned four months old today so um a new month and um yeah I'm just pretty tired not like sleepy tired just physically tired because I've been running around like a chicken today and then at the mall but um it's been a lot of fun and it's been been a pretty good day it's actually been a really good day so that's all I've got for today. Kind of a hodgepodge here. Tomorrow's vlog will be a little bit normal, more normal, but um, I just didn't really even have time to pick up the camera today. And um, yeah, but hope you guys enjoyed this little bit of a recap and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night.